Hello, what's happening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Navi vs. Alliance. This was actually just, this game was just off a of hunch. Um, I just kind of, you know, saw what tournaments was going on right now, and I saw ESL 1 and uh, Navi vs. Alliance, and I thought I got nothing better to do. Just lost a pub game, kind of frustrated, but I'm back in order, hopefully. This is actually the same day as Alliance, excuse me, Cloud9 versus Vega, but... I'm in a much better condition to cast this time. So we're just gonna go right on ahead and do it. I was actually just in the middle of matchmaking, but yeah, we got Navi picking up the Dazzle and the Bristleback here right away. Alliance up in the Tree and Protector and Wind Ranger and Slaughter, so it's gonna be a load of Slaughter this game. And uh, Magnus Band out, Shadow Fiend, Troll Warlord, and the IO, very common band, and as well as Axe, Phoenix, Batrider, and the Sniper. Sniper, of course. Really coming back into this meta again. Really, uh, really on his way back. So, um, I'm excited about this game. I'm really looking forward to casting it. Um, all of the games, all the games that are going to come. And um, I actually got time tonight, which means I have secured cast for uh, a couple of days forward. You wibby. Alright, so Navi looking to pick up their third hero. Not entirely positive as to what they're going to pick. I'm still feeling, by the way, I'm still feeling slightly under the weather. Um, so if I do, if I make some mispronunciations, if I misname some heroes and something like that, that's because my head cannot really keep up with what's happening on the screen. Hopefully I will be able to, but it's still a bit difficult. So we do have... Navi, taking their sweet time. Really taking their sweet time. I don't know whether they're going to combo up. Um, it, they could send the Bristleback off to the off lane. They could dual lane or uh, try lane him. Try to get him some extra bit of farm. But usually he actually works fine on the off lane. Especially in the, in the hands of a proper Bristleback player. Which... I'm not entirely sure who's actually going to be playing him. I don't know uh, Sonic too well. I don't know what position he plays. Um, but we'll see once we get around to that. Come on, Navi. Get your picks on. Come on. Chop, chop, buddies. I know it. I know you got to take your sweet time with this, but... You know, I know you got to make the right pick. And Queen of Pain is going to be your dandy mid. The mid hero, Dondo. An alliance looks like she, she'll actually be going up against the wind changer. That's not half that bad if you're kicking your reactions. You can dodge the power shot with the blink, and you can get up close where wind ranger is very, very vulnerable. The funny thing about Queen of Pain is that is that she likes being up close and personal. It's so one of the few ranged heroes who actually likes being close. But that's because she's so mobile. She can always get in, and if there are no stuns, get back out again. The only stun that they really have are the shackles. And the Slytherin Crush, but the only reliable stun, of course they also have the Bash, but the only reliable stun is pretty much the Shackle Shot. Um, they do also have the Overgrowth, but I consider that more of a Disable. Um, they have the ways of dealing with the Queen of Pain, if then he's not fast enough. And actually, Brewmaster, this sends the Queen of Pain off into the offlane here. Well, that's kind of interesting. So I'm really excited to see how they're going to be, uh, first of all, laning this because they could also send the brewmaster off to the safe lane or the off lane depending on what they want to do um have a mid once again lineup this lineup has a lot of possibilities as of right now out from alliance i'm expecting a mid wind ranger a uh slaughter possibly if it's going to be loaded it's going to be hmm i'm actually not quite sure because piecat piecat is uh could also be uh, taking somebody solo, or not solo, excuse me. Whoa, that was a burp. On a, <laughs> on a, uh, aggro tri lane. But the vengeful, and the clock works, so yep. I think they're expecting the slaughter to go on the safe lane as of right now, seeing the fact that they're banning out the clockwork. Let's see, this vengeful spirit ban, of course, that's going to be your last... That's going to be a uh, tri-lane bristleback, and that's actually not going to be half that bad. Um, they have a lot of kill potential, 
who can really keep the Bristleback alive. I mean, his tankiness, you gotta kill him off in the early game if you gotta get him. Uh, late game, he's a nightmare. But they have a lot of slow, they have a lot of uh, extra little burst damage with the Krill Spray. I mean, they have a lot of kill potential if they were to get the Vengeful Spirit in their lane, which they haven't now. Um, I'm really kind of wondering what their last hero is going to be, Navi. As for Alliance, it's going to be a Dark Seer. We just got the question answered there. Good old Dark Seer. I'm really excited to see him slowly returning back into the uh, back into the meta and actually being a respected hero. I love a good Dark Seer. Um, I suck at playing him, but I love a good Dark Seer. Just as much as I love a good Ember Spirit. Nevertheless, we do have Navi. Looking for their last little pickup here. I mean, they have. There haven't been a whole lot of supports banned out, so they have quite a big hero pool to uh, to choose from. Ten seconds, ten seconds. We know the sky with has been has been uh, picked up. Excuse me. Um, they could go for a lion. They have the potential of an earth shaker. They could use the stun from the earth shaker. Um, they could also use the stun from the lion. The extra amount of burst. They don't really have anything to kind of gather people up, so I'd say the nerf shaker would be a much better choice. Um. They have they have options. They have a lot of options. Naga Siren. This is gonna be your support, Naga Siren. It looks like it. So we have Vanscore. Gonna be loading in and uh, Dendi. I'm kind of surprised or excited to see how they're gonna lane this. It looks like it's gonna be a support, Naga Siren. As of right now, um, I just played with somebody claiming to be a uh, good support, Naga Siren. That wasn't the case. Um, so I'm kind of excited to see how this is going to work out. In my eyes, Naga Siren is not quite strong enough to actually be a full-on support, because she does still rely on items more than spells. Usually, your support, your support is classified by somebody who can rely on their spells. Carries can't, that's why they need items. Um, but their abilities are item enhancing, Ten which seconds. means that they'll help your items. Or basically, the items will help your abilities. And for supports, that's the Agatha Scepter. That's it. That's pretty much all that's going to help them out. In terms of their abilities. But we'll have Loda. Rotating towards that uh, bottom lane. There we do have to stand in in terms of Nikwa on your Ducks here. Machka. Fucking Matt, he's called. Um, it's going to be sitting on that tree and protector with the shrooms and everything. The trippy tree and protector. As uh, Pycat is going to be on your Wind Ranger. Loda. That's okay, excuse me. It's going to be on your Skywrath Mage, and everybody's kind of rotating down towards this bottom lane. As, um, they could be a problem for the Bristle back here, for, or uh, Habos. He doesn't really have much of an escape. I mean, his move speed is slower than average. And only he really has the Nasal Goo to kind of slow the enemy. Do we have uh, Soniko? Dendi. Soniko on the Naga Siren, of course, looking very sexy on that set, except for the rings. I'm not really a fan of those. But up front, it actually looks rather cool. Dendi. I can only say I love a good. I love a good Queen of Pain. I'm a big fan of Queen of Pain. Uh, Dazzle, picked up by Vanscore, and you might see a clash of Phobos. Showing his presence here, but looks like actually Alliance will take both runes. Hobos making his way down. Nikwa, he doesn't have the surge, but I don't think he needs it. There it is, and both, both 100 hundred runes go in the way of Alliance. Looks like Navi didn't really want to contest this. So we're going to be having Hobos rotating towards that uh, solo offlane. So we're going to be having the Naga Siren. Sitting with that aggro tri-lane. Currently looking a lot like a support Naga. Trying to get a bit of fun on Phobos here. It's meow meow. Okay, advanced score. It's gonna be backing them up. A bit of a rascal and out towards the Naga Siren here. Dendi, of course, gonna be running up against the Wind Ranger. They already got uh, Sentry Ward, so she can do ward whenever she really feels like it. I'm not entirely sure why she would put a ward there. Gotta be something with the meta. Gotta be something they haven't told me. But yeah, nevertheless. Slaughter, Loda, everybody just casually forming back. Except for our fucking Matt, he just decided that they, uh, Nagos on the lunch menu, just plonk 85 damage straight to the face. It's 
things are kind of calm here. I don't really suspect if anything that's going to happen, it's going to be up on the top lane because Havos doesn't have any real solo kill potential as of yet. Neither does Darkseer. He has no real burst damage. The only thing he can really do is Iron Shell, but I don't think, uh, I think Havos is too good of a player to actually, uh, to actually handle that. And my computer, it just did what it usually does, which is just completely shut off. So I'm going to try to radio cast here. For a second, on, this, on basically a black screen. There it is. Now we're back up and running. It's always nice when your computer does that. Just, uh, just go straight to black screen. And, um, drop the frame rate of the game. So that's awesome. Yeah, down on bottom lane, the most dropped a little bit low. I think the kill... Well, Dendy's gonna get strong, like... Right when he starts going for the scream of pain, that's when he's gonna be strong, and that's when Pie Cat is looking like a uh, tasty target. But as of yet, he hasn't Brewmaster. He's gonna be left alone for now up in this top lane, trying to find the farm, trying to find the farm he can. Bristleback getting lucky with the regen rune here. It's gonna get cancelled right away by the range creep. Nikwa now coming in. If he can make something happen here, he might be able to. So many blocks up from the bristle. Nikwa is going to try to get in front, Hambos denying him access, but Nikwa, is this going to be first blood here? It might be, the salve coming out, Oh, shell of grave out from Vanscore, saving his ass, good rotation, good solid rotation here, now Phobos, he's in a bit of trouble, Loda is going to go for the stun, Phobos, where's your clap, there it is, Loda going to try for the body block, not going to happen. And now Nagasaki Siren is back up and uh, back up and in the game here. Oh, that would be so greedy! Just run in and deny that. But yeah, Loda, he's gonna heal up with the salve. Out on the bottom lane. Habos this back. I think not. No, I think you do. But nevertheless, we do have Tramp Protector currently uh, occupying this bottom lane, trying to get a couple of levels here. So, uh, need quite six on the jungle camps. Now he's got his soul ring up and running for him. And the iron shell, Sonic, is going to be running towards this Wind Ranger. Not really going to be a problem. She's fine with the living armor. Loda. Chilling back. Nikwa going to be popping his salve. First blood has not been spilled yet. But all the lanes are looking rather tense. Pycat constantly low here. That is one cool ass career. But those particle effects can be slightly disadvantaged. Or can, can, can be a slight disadvantage because you can see where the career is going. But it looks cool. That's all that matters. Okay. Is Invis Dendi? Or oh, Dendi? This might become a problem. Power Shot is going to connect. He's not low enough for it yet though. It's not enough burst in uh, our castle right now to try to take out Dendi. And up on top, Phobos still trying to farm away here. Currently, Alliance leading the farm board as of right now by a rather significant amount. The Bristleback only sitting on 21, Dendi having trouble competing. With the very, very strong mid lane of the Wind Ranger. Now the power shot's gonna go out. Where's Ake? He was there a second ago. He has decided to rotate out. Wind Ranger gonna, now gonna get almost saved. Not gonna get saved. Is Pycat gonna be your first blood? The body blocks are real dendy. It's not gonna be enough. She's inside the woods trying to not actually get out. First blood. Going the way of the Naga. Nice little play there. But yeah, the power shot wasn't enough. I actually thought she was trying to TP, which would have made a lot more sense in my eyes, but... Loda, now in a bit of trouble here. And Phobos is going to abandon. Abandon the chase. Not a good idea to chase a slaughter. That can be quite dangerous. If you don't know what you're doing. As for that slithering crush. And he's just not even close to being fast enough. I don't even think Loda has boot shed actually. Okay, he does. Of course, the power, the bellow strength. He does have a... Uh, I just didn't see it the first time. No, no, no. I can't rotating for that double damage rune. That could set up some kills here. Unless, uh... 
Nope, alright. Pike Cat is rotating towards middle lane. Dendy. Where are you hiding? He's go he's actually dropping quite low. Just gonna do it in bottle crows. As Vanscore is now joining him on mid. This could be a tough one for the Wind Ranger to try to take. Considering the fact that Vanscore is pretty much right in his backyard. Brewmaster has picked up his arcane boots as well, so he should be set on mana. And Sheldy deciding to say LOL out to everybody. No one's not sure what he's laughing about. Now do you might want to try to turn spectator chat off. There you go, Navi. No gold for Both teams you. playing really, really passive as of right now. Hobos getting those boots done. Skyrath, he has bought a smoke, so we might want to pay attention to him. Trend has dropped low. Now the rotation coming in on mid here. Smoke on Nikwa. They're going to try to make something happen here. We're going to be keeping a close eye on them, so they're going to be rotating up top here. If I could draw, which would be nice. I hate the fact that you can't draw in replays. I'd love to have a whiteboard or something. You can actually get that, but then I won't have to draw on uh, Inside Broadcaster. Pycat. Not going to make anything happen. As of yet, Nikwa and... They're just basically stealing the stacks, that's what they're doing. That was pretty much worth the smoke, though. But they always have the potential to now rotate back down towards mid. They're pinging them out. Dendi, he does have everything up and going for him. They're going to go for him now. Nikwa coming in, burst damage off from Ake. Is it going to be enough? Yes, it is. Easy pickup for the Wind Ranger and uh, a Bounty Rune to boot. So. 1-1 one, one as right now. Both teams still playing ra rather passive. Only taking uh, secure kills. But Wind Ranger almost taken off in the farm board currently. Darkseer, Nikwa leading that. Fucking mad. It's gonna find Phobos. They're gonna try to push in this top lane now. But yeah, all of the support up on top has just kind of dissipated out. Across everybody else. Okay. Now down on the bottom lane, backing up Loda. So he's trying to take on Alvos here. At least it's gonna be running into the jungle. Neither team is pretty much ready to fight yet, so we're not going to be seeing any massive team fights as of right now. Pycat. Just going to let a power shot go. Up on top, they know they're in there. No, oh, that's just a fucking map pinging it up, but now they know they're in the advanced score. Coming in, Naga. Does she does have the ensnare? Not going to let it go yet, Phobos. Wants to join in, there's the ensnare. Where's the clap? There's the vacuum. And Nikwa, he should be fine. There is a tree and they just don't have the vision for him. Now he's just gonna actually just drop out of nature's guys. Nikwa, gonna be running it again, he is. Invis from the nature's guys. And they know he's there, he's just gonna be able to run him down. Naga gonna drop the illusions. And the riptide. Oh, Soniko. My man. You might be in trouble here. Oh, vacuum. Perfect vacuum by Nikwa securing that kill. Now Phobos, he wants to counter kill, but Surge, just too much Duxy, he's gonna be able to TP out. Not a problem. Beautiful play by Nikwa and fucking mad. And uh yeah, Nikwa got the Arcane boots. Or not Nikwa. Matchka. Has got the Arcane boots going for him. Loda, working this way towards that Blink Dagger. It's not far out. He possibly could have done it a bit faster. Um, but yeah, the rotation, the, th the way that they decided to rotate him out of that lane was uh, probably for the better. Just rotate him down towards the pistol back instead of having the Dark to try to battle him. So he's been getting a lot of free farm. As of yet, down here in the bottom lane. Oh, Dendy. Not anything Hi. real happening as of right now. Masuka just going for that nature, guys. 
Bristol trying to go for the stacks. Working his way towards that vanguard. All the teams just kind of chilling back here. The Naga Siren watching out for the uh, for the Brewmaster. He has got enough for a blink, pretty much. He does actually have it. Just needs to get to the side shop to come pick it up. Loda and Ake might get scouted out here. Dandy do see him. But they're just going to elect not to do anything about it. Loda, oh, so close to that blink dagger. Now going to be going up against Soniko. He might be in over his head here. It's the Deep Sea Showdown once again. Loda is going to get into Dendi now coming in. Loda, so close to his blink dagger. It would be a disaster if you fell now. My almost wanted to go for the counter kills there. There it is. That was a beautiful little cough there. Brezzo. Got the vanguard going for him. And Loda. Getting his blink dagger as well. And everything just kind of calming back down again. Only uh, 3 kills in 12 minutes. Everybody is kind of farming up. This does make for an epic late game. If nothing's happened in the early game, it does make for a very, very epic late game. Dark Seer now getting his mech in order. They're getting fight ready. Both teams. So right now, oh, you might be in a bit of a bad spot. Okay, he's going to get caught out and going to get dropped immediately. Not even going to let go of the old. It's now Loda. He's not exactly in trouble here. I would love him to be, but... Bye, cat. Oh, there's the rocket that's going to fly through. Pycat, you're in trouble, my man. It's going to try to heal up with a magic wand. It's not going to be enough, though, is it? The surge as well. No, it's not. The shackle shot is going to be there. That's going to slow him down and the chase of Niqua. I don't think, nope, they're not fast enough to outrun the ducks here. Advanced score, he's now going to be TPing. That's a base. All right, he needed that mana. And actually, Bristleback. Havos Stein down on that bottom lane together with the tree and protector. So we did have a bit of a clash in the then the ulti. Just see uh, Sonic Wave. I, I've have I don't really I would love for that to be named Scream of Pain. And for that to be named Sonic Wave. But that's just me. Okay, you might be in a bit of trouble here, Dendy blinking in to try to get him. Living armor is in place though. Phobos now rotating down towards that bottom lane. He's got the blink dagger to go the boot and actually working his way towards the Vladimir's offering. As Ake, he's sitting back. Phobos. There's not going to be a stun. That tower is definitely going to fall, not a problem. Alliance, they do have the fortification, but quite honestly, it's not going to mount to a whole lot. So they're just, yep, they're going to use it. It's only going to slow them down a tiny bit, but this may be going to enable Pykea to take that mid lane tower. No denies, Phobos going for it. Trying for it. Now the power shot, overgrowth as well. Phobos, my man, you're in trouble. He is not going to be able to make it out. Not even going to be able to get off a clap. That's a uh, tier one bottom for tier one mid plus a faux boss. Ouch, and that's a lot of gold down the pocket of the Wind Ranger. Pycat, slowly and steadily working his way towards that Aghanim scepter. It is ridiculously good on uh, Wind Ranger. Now it's the top lane tower. That's in for some trouble. They seem to want to get it. Navi unable to rotate. I don't think they all have TPs. Dazzle doesn't. Naga doesn't. And that top tower, that's just gonna fall, no problem. And that's the problem. I mean, Navi, they cannot give up too many towers because they can't take any in return. Living armor is super, super strong up against the push. It's gonna be such a problem for them to try to deal with this push. 
if they aren't able to take anything themselves, because constantly the lane's gonna be pushed beyond the towers. Dandy. It's a bit aggressive to go for Roche, but it doesn't seem that Alliance actually knows. They don't have wards in the area, so... Seems like it could actually work out. Loda now getting a 16 minute very, very greedy Midas. But he is a bit off to the behind here. Yep, that's gonna be a Roche. It wasn't, uh, not exactly a quick Roche. Not exactly a fast Roche. But it was a Roche nonetheless. And a boost. He is, uh, he's ready to make something happen. Has pretty much got the Crimson Guard in order. That's gonna make a whole world of a difference up against the Starks here. It's basically gonna remove 50 of the 90 damage he's got. Black Cat. Just chilling back. Naga actually now getting a gem. Sonic might be looking for those D-Wards. Excuse me. When Cursor just decides to slide out of screen. Havos. I'm really looking forward to I'm getting a new computer um, in August. Which is basically going to fix all my issues that I have with this current setup. Because I'm running everything off a laptop. And um, if you know anything about laptops, you will know that they don't make good streaming computers. Because you cannot make a laptop stream. You can play video games on a laptop just fine. Because you don't need that many RAM, nor... I mean, you need a decent processor, but it's not all that bad. Or, um, graphics card as well. I mean, you can get some pretty serious gear, but in terms of processor... And RAM, you can never fit to a whole lot into a laptop. Um, and that's basically my issue. Which is why I'm buying a desktop, which is gonna have a 4 gigahertz processor. Whereas I right now have 2.4 overclocked. So, um, that is pretty much going to fix all, uh, almost all of my issues. I'm going to be able to record in a much higher quality than what I do right now. I'm going to be able to stream and record at the same time at max quality. And I'm um, going to be able to record some other stuff as well, which I would like to. But yeah, everybody is kind of converting down on this bottom lane tower. So Alliance, we're trying to push it in. Point booster. Fucking mad, walking his way towards that Aghanim Scepter. I love the fact that Triumph Protector starts out with such a high base damage. 85! That's making last hitting almost a breeze. He doesn't have any attack speed though. Not anything worth uh, mentioning. But yeah, Loda actually leading the farm board as of right now. In terms of net worth, he is as well. That Midas has really been accelerating his farm. His GPM is super duper high. At a minute 36, he should top. In terms of farm. And net worth. At least in acceleration. Now, basically the entire line squad now rotating up towards that top lane. Looks like they might want to contest the tier 2 here. They're at least in the area making sure that uh, Load and Pycat are safe. The illusions are coming up top from Naga. Yeah, they're circling it out. I think there might be somebody in there. Naga is the only one really in the area. Whereas Havos, Dendi, and Vanscore are looking to break, break this tier to one tower. And it looks like it'll actually be a trade-off here. I don't think that's particularly a good trade-off for Navi. Trading a tier 1 mid for a tier 2 top. And Alliance, happy to take it. Slaughter taking that last hit and Bristleback taking the one on the mid. And it seems like Navi, they want to push further. And likewise does Alliance. They want to go for that high ground, and that's going to force out a rotation from Navi. Has to be. Nope. Actually, the entire leader of the Lion Squad rotating back towards Navi. They were happy with the trade off. Might see a clash now. Smoke has gone. Stun up from Loda. Kabos is sitting in the very, very wrong spot there. Now it's going to get true sided as well. And minus armor. Oh, Vanscore is actually going to get dragged out of the Mystic Flare. Loda on the retreat as Dendi comes in, lets the ulti rip. Havost is shackled. 
and he's gonna be able to get the he's gonna be able to get a load and now gonna get overgrowth he's in a lot of trouble here that's live number one coming back for round two van score died earlier as well and most are they just gonna back out power shot so they're gonna trade a load of van score in an ages not exactly a good trade wall is gonna get ripped as well oh nice vacuum into it but it's not quite strong enough yet you only got two points into it and uh illusion damage is just way too high at this point that's when you start uh building tanky like bristleback eventually will be that's when your illusions start to become strong phobos not sure what you're trying to scout out here so good a little while it's the rush Wind Ranger. Pycat picking up that dust. So he's moving towards the top lane. He's got 2k gold. As of right now. Position 2 Pycat. Loda. He's gonna make sh make good use of that Midas in the meantime here. Dendi is in the line of fire. The stun's gonna come out as well as the Mystic Flare. Now the song up from Maga. It's gonna save Dendi. He's fine. He's going to be able to make it back out. He is. Does need a bit of minus armor. He's going to be sticking around though. Now the split coming out from Mr. Phobos. Loda, he's going to go down. And we're going to be rotating back towards the fight here. Cyclone, Wind Ranger. She's got... She's going to get initiated upon now. Dendi. Going to get shackled. But Pycat, he's going to fall. No problem. 3 for nil. Not a problem for Nivee taking this fight. And that was... Exactly what Alliance didn't want to happen. They lost Loda, they lost Pycat, and they lost... Okay. Oh dear, no. That's gonna be their problem. The Na'Vi teamfight is just, just so strong. I mean, if the Naga just holds on to that, uh, that song of the Siren, as soon as Skyrath lets, or Adakis lets the ulti rip, she just lets go of the song, wanders, or just walks Dendi out of there. He has time to heal up and reinitiate. And this top tower, they're not going to push in on it. Not yet. I was the last to graph. Look at Nikwa still sitting, uh, not exactly comfortably on the top. Loda following suit fast. But he's got the higher uh, gold per minute. Loda, who has died twice, which has a lot of votes to kind of catch up on him. Abos is now sitting on a Crimson Guard, Bottle, and an Ochre Club. And, um... I think that might be for either a uh, Sanj or for his BKB. He's just gonna be chilling back with his farm. So much money right down the pocket of Abos. And he's almost gonna be able to overtake Loda. How are we looking on Dendi here? Dendi, who has spotted out an Iqua. Nikwa going straight for the Shiva score. That's stunned for him. That's actually quite a big item. Dendi. What are you going for, my man? That right that one right there looks a lot like a Lincoln Sphere. Could be at least. He'd also he does also have the option of a Scotty and a Hex. But I'd say in this particular case might possibly be a Lincoln Sphere. Oh, Habos, he's found Ake. Okay. Ake, okay, you're not going to be able to wander yourself out of this one. Phobos backing him up. Power, sh or power Shot Shackled is now from Pycat. He's going to get slowed big time. He's now also going to get saved by the Living Armor. So, uh, Ake, okay, the only one to drop has not been having a very good game so far. It's been shut down completely. Both in terms of getting his spells off and in terms of deaths. Just sheer amount of death. Loda now done with his BKB. And so is, uh, so is Chavost. I hear people say Xbox. I've heard a couple of Chinese casters say that. It is Chavost. Chavost, if you say it in proper Ukrainian. That was terribly racist. Excuse to all my Russian and Ukrainian fans. If there are any of you. I'm just dumb like that sometimes. Actually going for the Hex, Dendi. I thought... Sure as hell, that was a Lincoln's or a Scotty. Um, but then again, you know, he's not really the main damage dealer in terms of uh, 
more of a spell hero. So the Cypher Vice is gonna suffice for now. And that right there is gonna be one fast Roshan as Nikwa now comes in a challenge. Letting go of the Shivas. Weave is also on the ground. Loda now jumping in the middle of everything, snatching the Aegis and the. Not exactly Roshan. Naga gonna let go of the song. Loda doesn't seem to care. Now the vacuum into the wall. Loda, he's in the middle of everything. He's in it for round two. Abos really wants to get his hands on him. Cyclone. Up on fucking Matt. Spike kind of slowing down now. The overgrowth on everybody. Vanscore, he's going to drop dead. So is Sonico. I don't think he's going to be able... He was able to TP out. But Abos inside the middle of everything. Phobos now trying for the reinitiation. Dendi, he's going to be engaging off the back. They're going to turn Pycat into a pig while he's windrunned. On Nikwa! What a play! What a play! Phobos, the only one really able to give chase, but that's going to secure the Nikwa escape unless... Unless Dendi has something else to say about it. What a play by Nikwa. Putting two heroes on the cliff. That is clutch Dota right there. And Loda able to make it back out. And that's going to make it, a, as far as I could tell, a 3-4-3 exchange. No, actually, Dendi died. That was probably to Loda. I was just too excited about goddamn Nikwa. <laughs> what a vacuum. What a vacuum. Naga Siren. That was an important save there by Vanscore. Keeping the gem on the Naga Siren, not letting her die in. I thought for sure she was toast, but uh, good reactions there in the TP scrolls. And not to forget the Shallow Grave up from Vanscore. Now it's on a match, or fucking mad, as I would like to call him. Oh, he's in the nature's guys. They do seem as long as he's netted. Overgrowth is gonna get committed as well. They do want to chase him down. They do have the gem on Suniko. Nikwa gonna surge him, and maybe the counter initiation here. Nope, Naga gonna let go of the old and That's gonna be it. He's gonna CP out. Power shot, not gonna matter. Now Loda has found himself a little sweet old little Havos here. That's not really going to matter. Hovos now dealing for 200 in damage. And Alliance playing to the edge here. It's This game is very, very even. If we look at the graphs here for a second. It is down in Nobby's favor after that last fight. But still, I mean, 3k at this point is not really a whole lot. That's a team fight. That's about a team fight. 5 to 7k is a bit harder to come back from in terms of experience. But in terms of gold... It's not a problem for Alliance to recover from, especially with the fast farming Loda. Loda almost hitting that level 6, that crucial. It's not a crucial for him as it is for uh, somebody like Dendi or uh, maybe say Darkseer. And especially Windranger. Has finished up the Aghanim Scepter and now is working her way towards that BKB. It's a very, very underrated item in pubs, particularly in my skill level. Nobody gets BKB. If you get BKB, you're dumb. You just need all that damage. All the damage you can take. It's what you need. Naga has started to farm up. And when I say started, it's not exactly a fast farming Naga. 66 last hits, but then again, yeah, this is poor Naga. Darkseer. Just gonna be taking care of a couple of illusions here. It's, uh... Game's kind of settling back down. Pycat. Has a Nimbus rune, and that's the BKB incoming. He could set up a kill with that. If, uh... If he's clever, just run up, go for the shackle shot into, uh... Win run and focus fire. Dendi is pinging him out. They do see him. They had a ward there. For the la or they're gonna have it for another two seconds and then it's all gone. It's all done. Navi and our blind on that front, but they know the rotation came in from that ward. So they know if they're gonna take this tower, it's not gonna go down without a fight. Pycat sitting inside the woods. Has the power shot if he needs it. Treant also has a uh, a tree down. So in case the fight kind of uh, erupts on this ground right here. Should not be a problem for him to handle. Navi, I think they really want this tower. 
They're pushing it. They need Sonequa up so they can spot out the tree end here. And they have. They know they know fucking Matt is there. They know he's there and they know he's treeing up. Loda also just sitting inside the woods here. They're waiting for it, but looks like Navi will rotate out. Havos has gone down to farm up again. And looks like Navi's just gonna abandon it. They know they can't win a team fight. As of right now. With the newly purchased purchased BKBs and uh on this Wind Ranger. So he's gonna be one hell of a tough nut to crack. As of those that right there looks a lot like an assault cuirass. Dendi. Has 2.2k gold. Um, it's gonna hit. It's gonna buy something. That's an ultimate orb. Another ultimate orb. I'm not gonna say what it's gonna be this time because, quite frankly, I have no clue. I'm still thinking of Lincoln's, but. That's just me. They should know what's going on. M fucking Matt has been really efficient with the trees so far. Has been foresting up wherever he can get to it. Loda, they're gonna wander in to try to reclaim their own jungle. And Phobos, the rest of the squad are just gonna rotate back out again. Standy gonna be working his way through some more neutral creeps. Pie Cat, chilling out in the top lane. Casual power shots, not a problem. And, uh, AK, the heavy support, using arcane bolts to farm creeps. It's only level 9, actually, I didn't even realize. Jet. Magica. Chavost and Dandy just uh, simultaneously trying to farm up here. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what is going through the minds of Navi right now. They know they can't really win a full-on fight. They need that Aegis. They need the second Aegis. Lord, I can be finding some more, uh, some more farm here. So he's going to be uh, trying to pull away from Havos. Farm board has just entirely changed. Before it was, it was Starkseer, Windranger, and Slider. AKA Loda, Niqua, and PyCat leading the charge on the farm board, but Phobos, Dendi. Oh, Loda now going in on a Phobos. It's gonna trigger that BKB. The song, not gonna matter. Phobos, it's gonna now get Shallow Grave. Might want to consider not exactly rotating back. It's gonna let go of the Panda Split. Loda, he's low. He's sitting inside the woods. There is a PyCat, but he did commit that BKB. So two BKBs forced out here. And a near dead Loda. And that was a fresh BKB. That was a 10 second duration and the eight, the 9 second duration for uh, Loda. I don't think Navi even popped any. They didn't. That basically amounted to nothing. Loda, what are you doing? And as of right now, Soniko. I'm kind of excited to see this uh, support Naga. I don't really believe in it all that much, but that's just because I'm, I'm, I'm old school. I'm used to having the heavy farming radiance naga, just taking creeps, ca creep camps left and right, and farming at uh, 15 last hits per minute. That's the that's the naga I remember. Back from uh, back from the last meta, that was the naga I paid attention to and tried to play but failed miserably to play. And Aki is going to be dealing with illusions here. Is Niqua is sitting on his blink dagger. I really feel that that horseshoe right there is weird. That horseshoe on his back, which is not entirely a horseshoe. It looks like it. Fucking mad. He's playing with fire here. He is invis, but they know. Oh, they're pinging it out. Or the map might have been Loda. Eli or Mr. Loda now getting his AC. 
As there is a rush up and available now. That's what I think that might be the cue. Dendi finding Loda. He's gonna get turned into a pig. There is no ultimate. Loda gonna trigger the 8 second BKB. That's not gonna get turned down to 7. On the mean front. Spy Cat. Oh, perfect vacuum into the wall. Havos, quick reactions. Picking up that Jevon. Trying to get that back to base. Trying to cut losses. But Sonico and Vanscore has fallen. Oh, the stun on Match Card. They know. It's Loda, though. He's going in on Havos. If they could get this gem off, and that would be huge. And if they could even get the kill. Now Phobos going back in. He really wants Match Card. Havos, back in the fray. Okay, he's going to fall, definitely. Now it's the turn of Niqua. He doesn't really have a whole lot of more spells. He does have a vacuum, but that's about all he can contribute with. Now the Sonic Wave. Vacuum as well. Niqua trying to save his own bacon. Not going to be able to, is he? Loda actually taking a kill on Phobos. Now it's the turn of Havost, and that's the gem on the ground. There's nobody to pick it up. Niqua now has it. Or oh, Pycat has it. He just dropped this magic wand for it. But disaster fight for Navi. That right there might mount into a Roche. Oh, the song. Gonna trap out everybody. Loda, he's in the dumb spot here. Not exactly where he wants to be. Gonna pop the second BKB as of that fight. Van score is gonna get chopped down. So is Dendi. Sonico as well. He's gonna drop Van score. Are we gonna see a full five man wipe? We are. Holy shit, Alliance. What a team fight. They lost AK, and that was pretty much about it. Tree and Protector got out. They only lost AK, and they got a team wipe and a half. That fast, that fight lasted so long that they actually got a seven kill, seven for one trade. Alliance, that's gotta hurt in the graphs, and you can see that right there was when the fight started. That was. Magica killing Vanscore. Boom. 6k gold, gold exchange. Holy hell. And the experience graph now back down to zero. Alliance doing the comeback here. As they're sitting on the gem as well. This is a disaster scenario for Navi. And if we look at map vision. Just, just take a look at map vision here for a second. We have. For Navi. Or this right here is Alliance. They can see basically the entire map. If you pay attention to the mini map, mini map down in the bottom. Di or Alliance. Or not Alliance. Navi. They can see nothing. Radiant. Everything. Dire. Again, Navi. Nothing. That's what I want to emphasize on. Currently, Alliance knows about everything that's going on. Up on top lane. We might have a bit of a fight. Panda's committed. Niqua. He's going to try to make it out here. The Rock is back in order now. It's gonna stun Niqua. AK deciding that Vanscore was a bit of a problem and uh, just just trying to get rid of him. Ratka, they want to see if they can uh, rotate into the Zerf Spirit. Phobos, now back to his original form. He's not his final form and he's just gonna go down. Easy pickings there for Slider. AK Loda. And he's got the cheese as well. Who has the Aegis? They took Roshan, but who took the Aegis? That was, that was Pycat. And now a new gem out from uh, Sonico. She's got some serious deforesting to deforesting to do. I mean, this right here is almost impossible to keep up with. <laughs> Holy hell! Sonico, you need a uh, you an X won't cut it. You need a team willing enough. You need a timber saw. That's what you need right now. You need a timber saw to cut down all that. Is this gonna try to secure map vision? As of yet, Greenpeace are gonna be so mad when he's done. And that's gonna be your mid lane tower falling. Not a problem for uh, Alliance here. And Windranger, Pycat, he's got his big items as well. Now sitting on the Daedalus. And um, he hurts. He hurts a lot now. As that has also enabled uh, Mr. Fucking Matt to get his. Uh, did have the Agnum Scepter a while ago, but the Oblivion Staff, so he's gonna be working his way towards a refresher. Mind you, that is a full 9 seconds of overgrowth. Plus damage, plus extra damage. That shit hurts. Oh, so Nico is gonna let go of the ulti. 
There are nobody to rotate in. Dandy's sitting on the edge there. I think they just wanted to, uh... They were considering it. They were talking it through, but nobody were really in position to try to fight it. I wonder one thing. Is the Gemma True site going to transition onto the Illusions? Because I'd say that Dazzle might be the better carrier of the gem. I'm not entirely positive. But yeah, PyCat now going to uh, work his way through that tower. There's nobody really going to do anything about it. Just going to let the tower damage burn through. Kavos. It's going to be uh, giving PyCat a little uh, courtesy fuck you and Ace will go to the face. He's basically sneezing on him, that's what's happening. Niqua gonna blink in. Oh, that was very, very aggressive. Might pay for it. Not actually gonna. It's just gonna scout up Bristle. As Lora now gonna be joining in. Still no initiation. Now he's going in. On a van score. Lora gonna get turned into a pick before he can get the BKB off. He is in a lot of trouble. Doesn't have the cheese anymore. Kavos is gonna chase out. Now it's the Lions on the back foot here. Okay. He's gonna get four stuff up to the high ground. And a perfect disengagement out from the Lions. They got exactly what they needed. They forced out the BKBs without... They wasted Lotus. But, okay, that's down to a, a five-second BKB. He's used that a bit too aggressively. But, yeah, nevertheless, they did manage to take, out, to take down the tier 3 here and open up Alliances or uh, Navi's, Navi's base. As right now, Dandy, he's got the Lincoln Sphere up in an order. Um, is now also going to get the woodchopper's axe just for uh, trying to deal with the mass amount of trees that has all of a sudden turned bad. This is a disaster for Navi. They're having so much trouble handling this alliance, alliance team fight, and it's only going to get better out from alliance. I mean, Nikwa hasn't even gotten an Agonist scepter yet. I mean, that's you no, know, it's old meta, old Darkseer meta. But if you look at it, I mean, 140% on a Bristleback who does quite a lot of damage. It's not exactly the worst in right clicks. Usually I would say you would get it when you got a draw ranger or some, some, somebody like that on your hands, a big damage dealer. But it's still rather significant. As he's going to be working his way towards the cheap stick. That's at least what I presume it's going to be. Is there only really two good uses for Mystic Staff as far as I know? Yep, it's going to be a cheap stick. And that's gonna help out up against Dendi. There it is. That's your sheepstick done. It's gonna help out against Dendi. It's gonna help out against Havost, especially. Once they can get that off and even delay the Brewmaster. Oh, Loda, he's aggressive. Gonna be popping another BKB. He doesn't have it for the entire duration of the next fight, but doesn't need it. Van score is down and off for the count, and so is. So is Dendi. They're just dropping so fast, and. The lane is even pushed in. They can take racks off this. If they really want to. Disaster on the hands of Navi. So much pain and suffering and PyCat gonna be setting to work on those melee racks. There it is, that's Rex gone and now they're gonna transition. They're gonna move straight topside. Still got 43 seconds until Dendi decides to show his face again. Tower might fall. Havos now back. He's gonna try to see if he can do anything about this. I don't think he can. PyCat still playing aggressive. They're gonna go for the range tracks first here because they're not entirely sure they can get it. Loda manning up, going straight for the melee racks. And they're gonna be able to maybe take two lanes of racks. 17 seconds until Dendi is back up. Havos, he's impatient. Nikwa now gonna let go off the vacuum. He does still have the wall up and running for him. Van score. Oh, there's a range track still up and going. Machka, we're fucking mad. He's gonna get trapped on the inside now, four stuffed out by Ake. But yeah, disaster for Navi. They only lost Dendi and they only lost Vanscor. And that mounted in three Raxes. And fucking mad now got the, re the refresher orb. Now Alliance are ready to man fight. They're now ready to take that fight inside of Navi's base. Almost. 
Gonna try to turn the tides with the Skull Basher here. She's gonna be working his way. I think he might go straight, straight Super Basher. Straight Abyssal Blade. There is no Roche yet. It's gonna be there in uh, about 40 seconds. That's definitely going to be for uh, Loda to pick up. He's a lot stronger now up against that Roshan, and especially with Pycat backing him up. Navi, though. They're rotating down into Alliance's jungle. This could turn ugly. They scout out Havos. Now Trient is going to let go of the first ulti. It's going to trap basically everybody. Dendi is going to be forced back out of the fight. Oh, the vacuum into the Trient. And... The song just gonna stop all the fun. Havost is gonna be able to TP out. Nikwa, the only one to fall so far. Vanscore is gonna TP out as well. But Alliance, they don't care about their darks here. Even though he didn't get to lay the wall down, they don't give a shit. They can fight without him, and that's maybe gonna be yep, that's your tier tier two gone. So Nico thinking otherwise though. Fucking mad, he's trapped, they don't know whether to go or not. Is now going to get turned into a pig, and that's going to be the Trian gone. And now it's about time to rotate out from Alliance. That was a uh, good solid song up from Soniko. But it is going to mount into a Roshan here. And that's going to be a very, very fast Roshan. Holy hell. It's going to be the Cheese on the AK. And the Immortality on the Pie Cat. Here, smoked up. Doesn't seem like they want. They know where they want to go. They could just. I mean, Ak or Pycat could easily go through backdoor protection. If there is such a thing, there is backdoor protection on that. That would be no problem for him to do. If they want to do it, come on, do it. Be aggressive, your alliance. Come on. Take that goddamn time. We want to see some action here. You guys have been keeping the 50 minute game to uh, 35 kills. We need some action. They're just going to push in the lane for now. Going to wait for those creeps to try to uh, enable them to get a bit of a smoother. It looks like they will trade their tier 1s, but once again, it doesn't really matter all that much as it might transition into more later. Loda going to start bashing on the tower. They don't really have, they don't have a rotation out on Loda. They have in the dark scene in about 19 seconds, but no TP out for PyCat as well, so. That's going to be a top tier 1 falling, but the entire Navi squad now coming back around. That's too valuable to lose tier 3. Habos is not going to get turned into a piglet. Lions backing out for now. Power shot. Both teams, once again, really, really passive. This has been a surprisingly passive game so far. Na'Vi playing for the late game that I don't really feel they have. Because Lotus is just going to get stronger and stronger. And he's got the Satanic now. He actually got that a bit of a while ago. I just forgot to call it out. But as soon as he's going to get his uh, last line of maybe a heart. And just turn into that super solid tank. It's not going to be a problem for them to deal with. They'll have no trouble dealing with Havos. They'll have no trouble dealing with Dendi. And all that burst is just going to get sucked up by Loda. He's pretty much got enough for the Reaver. But might want to consider keeping money for buyback. Um, he is about 1400 surplus. Havos is now going to get true side as well. Both teams really, really adamant about not going. Havos taking a lot of damage. Now going to get turned to a piglet. They're also going to get four staff back. Where's the regeneration? It's not quite fast enough as of yet. They could push actually push up the back of this while Havos is back in base. TP, he's TPing back in. Havos is back in the fray after a little bit of a uh, clash here with Loda and Pycat. Rod of Atos now picked up on Skyrath. Havos now once again is going to be the target. It's actually going to be the tower. Pycat just ignoring everything coming out from Avos. It's almost going to drop the tier 3s. Now the wall is going to get dropped. 
That might create the space for Pycat to just get that last bit of damage in. He might actually fall. There's the Aegis that's gonna get popped. Hubble's waiting for the reinitiation here. Now everything's gonna go down. The big clash. Naga stopping all the fun. Getting Navi into position. Primal Split's now gonna get popped. Bristleback. Now ready to go. Pycat, he's taking everything. Then you're taking a beating as well. It's gonna get safe for the Shallow Grave. Nikwa in the meantime, gonna try to chase him down. So we're rejoining the fight. Vanscore is almost gonna drop. Habos, he's gonna fall. First gotta fall, almost. Dendi, Anabos, buying back. So we got Phobos. Trying to take on Pycat here. He's gonna give it his all. Queen of Pain, Dendi, he's back. He didn't even get to sing his ultimate song. Nikwa? Beautiful vacuum there, does have another Shiva's card on the ready. And Matt, fucking mad, is not gonna get backed up by Loda in terms of taking out Havos. This is a chaotic team fight. Fighting on two fronts, Nikwa, he's gonna fall, no, no question about that. Actually, a question about that, Dendi. He's gonna fall before he can take on Nikwa, and he's gonna be able to retreat out. Havos now gonna get stunned, and this might be the GG for Navi. If Havos falls, it would be a disaster. Double, double dieback. And the GG is called by Havos. Alliance playing a near flawless game from minute 20. Incredible performance there by Loda and the rest of the squad. And they just, they mauled them in the team fights. And it, it just looked like Navi's team fights, they weren't coordinated. They weren't set up properly. They didn't have, they needed something like a Darkseer to set up the Naga. Or to basically for the Naga to set up the Darkseer into... The Queen of Pain, the Dendi ulti. And um, it, they just didn't have it. They just didn't have the damage output. And Phobos got completely shut down. So if you look at his items, I mean, he's got Shiva's Guard, Blink Dagger, Vladimir's Offing. It's not damage items. That's what Avos is sitting on. But Bristleback is not. It's a tank. He's not exactly a DPS. That's what Dendi is also partly supposed to be. But yeah, they just didn't have anywhere to... They just have... They didn't have any damage output. But that was... Alliance taking game one. I'm going to be right there with you with game two. So sit tight for just a couple of seconds here.